One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. Hey, what's up everyone? Daniel Kaiser here in beautiful Montreal exploring the science of games with Kevin Nybert from FWAC Consulting. Kevin, let's talk about Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. It features a sword that can cut through pretty much anything from human flesh to metal to anything that gets in its way. What's happening in that game and what's the plausibility of a sword that can cut through anything? So Revengeance is a story of the Seven Deadly Blades. Raiden, the main character, is able to choose different weapons based on whatever tactical situation he's approached by. So he has a number of high-frequency swords to choose from. Uh, some are specially tooled to take out other cyborg ninjas like himself. One of the blades that you can unlock throughout the game is called the Mazamure sword. And this is a, an homage to Mazamure, who was one of the finest swordsmiths in feudal Japan. His blades were legend to be the sharpest blades. In Revengeance, it's described as a blade with a uh, very high currency electrical current going through it. And it's able to oscillate at an extremely high rate. So if you're to think of a hyper-powered uh, turkey carver, you sort of get the idea. It's a blade uh, reciprocating back and forth extremely quickly, and this generates a lot of heat. So there is actually some modern technologies that we could use to make such a blade. Not only would you want the blade to move back and forth very quickly to cut through, but it would have to be really, really sharp. And there's an idea in science fiction of a monomolecular blade. That is to say, a blade with a tip that's one atom in diameter. The problem with extremely sharp blades is that they become dull very quickly. If you were to imagine the surface of the blade being one atom in diameter, it wouldn't be hard to pull off that atom and then make a regular blade, a blade where the tip is in the micro range as opposed to the nano range. So the key to making a very sharp high frequency blade for Revengeance would be to make a blade that you can continually resharpen and reforge. So it's actually accidentally the first carbon nanotubes were synthesized using a technique called arc discharge, where you have two graphite electrodes in close proximity to each other, and you pass a huge current through them. And what happens is you get a bunch of soot, carbon soot, but within that soot are highly purified carbon nanotubes. This was discovered completely accidentally at the time. So we can use this technology to fortify our high-frequency sword with real-world technology. In the center of the blade, you'd have the reciprocating high-oscillation blade, which is your turkey carver. On the sides of the blade, you could have two graphite electrodes, and then you could use the energy and the electricity that's described within the context of the game to be flowing through the sword to continually synthesize fresh carbon nanotubes for the blade using the arc discharge strategy. So essentially what you would have is a blade with a very, very sharp point that is able to continuously reforge itself as you carve your way through your enemies. So obviously we're playing a game like Metal Gear Rising Revengeance and it seems like the stuff of fiction, but you're saying that it's, it's plausible to think that something like this could actually be built. It is a possibility. Uh -huh. One of the major problems would be a portable battery source. You'd have to be tethered to an extremely powerful uh, power source. Arc Discharge uses hundreds of amps of energy, so it would be extremely difficult to keep within the pommel of a sword. The theory is there, the actual application or the practicality of making that sword is still science fiction, but there is a grounded scientific basis for such a blade. And possibly as the power source itself becomes smaller over time, then we might be able to see the fruition of all this to actually culminate in a sword straight from Metal Gear, correct? Exactly. Excellent. All right, well, we appreciate your time very much. You're pretty sharp yourself. Thanks for uh, informing us here on the Science of Game. For more, you can head online to GameTrailers.com. See all of our shows and game reviews now on the brand new GT app on Xbox Live and the GT Originals iOS app, too.